Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui and it's sunset and it's a beautiful evening and I just want to talk to you about what program helped me the most in my CFS recovery. And you know, this question was asked by one of our warriors, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Hamed, and I want to thank you for the question. And he said, what program of all the ones that you've done, from CFS Health, to Optum Health Clinic, to Mikkel, to Lightning Process, to DNRS, to GUPTA, I've done them all, baby. Actually, there are probably a couple more out there I haven't done. But basically, he was wondering which one helped me the most. And you know what, I wanted to do a video to address that because really every program that I've done has met a different need in my recovery. And so it really helps for you to figure out what your needs are at the moment and then look at the different programs and see which one is gonna fit you the best at this time. And so I just wanna give you some ideas to think about as you're looking at that. And one thing is that we heal in thirds. And what that means is we have three parts to our healing. There's the body, which is the physical. There's the soul, which is the mind, will, and emotions. And then our, there's our spirit. And this is all based in a biblical principle. If you look in the scripture in 2 Thessalonians, um, you'll see that Paul talks about this. And so basically, we need to heal on all three different levels. And that's what's happened in my own recovery. So first of all, for example, I address the body. I address adrenal issues, uh, I address mitochondria dysfunction, digestion, hormonal imbalance with DHEA, estrogen, progesterone. Uh, there were other things that I looked at with help from the Optimum Health Clinic with a qualified nutritionist who specializes in ME. And then I began to address those issues, the underlying, well, some of the core body issues, right? Then, I'm, and, and also other things that helped me in that realm were things with CFS Health, with pacing and structure and routine and movement, so critical to get our bodies moving. Movement is life. And so even if it was a three minute walk, that movement helped me to progress because it was getting blood flow going. And as I've mentioned before in another video, dry, dry brushing, which gets the lymphatic system moving. So, you know, we could do a whole video on just the body aspect of dealing with the, the physiology of what's going on underneath CFS. And everyone might have a myriad of different symptoms, and so it's important to check those out. The last thing I need to work on is getting all the mercury out of my mouth. And so that's next on my body work, okay? The second area of our healing is in our soul, and that includes our mind, will, and emotions. And, you know, just off the top of my head, a lot of the work I did with the Optum Health Clinic on the psychology end of the department was dealing with behavior patterns that were exasperating the illness, like the achiever beast, you know, driving myself all the time until I was completely depleted. The helper pattern, you know, overextending myself beyond my limits to help others when I needed to reserve and conserve some of that energy for my own body and my own life right? So it doesn't mean we cut people out of our lives and we don't help. It just means that we, uh, you know, learn a, appropriate limits. And along with that was mental therapy, which taught me how to set boundaries, how to listen to my emotional brain, how to address emotions such as, you know, when emotions come up, not stuffing them and not denying them, but it, uh, being aware of them acknowledging them, accepting them, and then finding the appropriate action to take that that emotion was asking of me. So, so this is really important because every aspect, the, the uh, body, the soul, and the spirit, they all interact with each other and act on each other. So I can't say it was just one thing or one program that helped my healing. So anyway, back to the mind, will, and emotions. The mind is so important. And here's where we need positive declarations, positive predictions, and not only that, but neural retraining. 
And actually, I'm a little conflicted. Neural retraining really should go with the body because you're working physiology. You're working, you're changing your physiology through neural connections. And so this is so important with CFS in any illness. I was just listening to a neurosurgeon speak about how important this aspect of capturing our thoughts and sending them in the right direction has on all of our bodily functions because it affects our hypothalamus, our limbic system. And this is critical in CFS recovery. So anyway, under your mind, I kind of think of that neural retraining because as we renew our mind and we retrain our thoughts, we're, we're stopping that cascade of stress hormones through the body that produce so many of the effects and the symptoms that play out as CFS. And so when we can stop those patterns in our brain, our actual limbic system, hypothalamus, amygdala, then it actually helps our bodies get into a healing state. So that was critical with neural retraining. And then back to nickel, because with our soul, the, the uh, mind, will, and emotions, it was making new choices for fulfillment in my activities, as well as looking after myself, being kind to myself and good to myself. Now the last third is the spirit. We are spirit beings. We were created, you are not just your body. We have a spirit, each one of us has a spirit that indwells this body. And that spirit has a tremendous impact on our body and on our soul. So the, there's that scripture that says, a strong spirit of a man sustains him in bodily pain and illness, but a weak and broken spirit who can bear? And hopefully you'll go back and check out one of my videos on feeding your spirit, exercising your spirit, and resting your spirit. Because our spirit is so critical to our healing, and it's really important that we build up our spirit, that we uh, intentionally lift our spirits on a daily, moment-by-moment -moment basis. And I love to do that by getting into the Word. I love the Scripture, letting it feed me, and focusing on the promises of God for my healing, for abundance, abundant life, all of those things. So I encourage you to do the same or to find material that will really build you up. So a long answer to a little question like what's the best program, but really DNRS, LP, Lightning Process, all of those were neural retraining as well as Gupta bringing in also the meditation. Those worked on uh, the body and the soul. So that was the mind, will, and emotions. So anyway, that's a long-winded answer, but I hope you understand that it's really important to look at what you've already done. So I would get out a sheet of paper and I would write down body, soul, and spirit. And then I would write down what you've already done in recovery or what you feel is the next thing you need to address. Have you addressed things with the body and now you need to move on and look at behavior patterns that might be depleting your body or a lack of boundaries that you need to learn a skill set? Or do you need to build up your spirit? Are you broken down and so discouraged in your spirit that you, you can't even, you know, you, you're just stuck? and not even being able to address any physical issues because you're just so deeply stuck. So I just wanna encourage you to find what would be your next step and then begin to investigate these programs online, look at their free content, decide which one might be the right fit for you at this stage in your recovery. Because for me, I really do think it was important. I started with the body issues and I began to build those up. Then I moved to the soul issues and then I began the spirit, to build my spirit. So anyway, warriors, hope that helps. I hope you will go back and look at some earlier videos I made because I have a whole library of content and everything that I share really builds on the rest of the library. So I don't like, I don't want to be taken out of context. Uh, CFS is not a psychological illness. It's a neurological illness classified by the World Health Organization. So it helps if you can look at all my video content so you understand where I'm coming from and um, what I've discovered about this illness over the past 10 years that can help you give you some information and inspiration that you need in recovery. 
So anyway, warriors, uh, remember life is not over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.